And Mm -hmm. then, you know, of course, it was all awesome at first. And then he ran away and he rejected you. And yeah, tell us about that. Okay. So, yeah, um, we did the whole running and chasing thing for actually like five years. It was really bad Mm -hmm. because, I mean, I was so excited to actually realize that he was my twin flame, you know, with all the synchronicities and everything. Like, it's just undeniable. So, I was really trying to get him to understand our connection. I was like, look at this, like we're twin flames. Like mm-hmm. this is crazy, you know? And I was sending him every article I could find, you know? And he was he, just not given an F. He was so unreceptive. And I was yeah. like, how do you not see this, you know? But I mean, we were having the telepathy, all of that. He knew we were having it. So I was like, how do you not see it? But mm-hmm. just did it. Yeah. Yeah, he can, I mean, usually what happens is they can, they pick up on things that you're thinking, Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, Mm -hmm. yeah, they do that. Your twin flame does. And you probably were getting a lot of intuitive hits though too, right? Like the the, the weird knowing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, very strange when I actually, um, the way I actually first met him is my sister's, uh, my younger sister's best friend is originally from New York. And um, she one day was like, oh, like my good friend that I grew up with is moving down here to Florida. And I was just like, oh, I don't, I'm not thinking of any, anything of it, you know, and they, they all went to dinner together. And um, I saw a picture the next day and I saw his picture and I was like, like, he looks so familiar. Right, was, like, I know this guy. Yeah, I was like trying to rack my brain, like, where have I met him before? And then I was like, no, I've never met him. But yeah, it was just mm-hmm. a weird, weird familiarity, like very yeah. weird. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'd be crying everywhere. I'd be crying driving. I'd be like, you know, it was just horrible, just excruciating pain, you know. And the desperation. So desperate. Right. I would mm-hmm. the, the ego death dark night of the soul which is indescribably intense and painful no which way. is fine and you mm-hmm. thought that was how to fix things with him right yeah that's what everybody tells you to do on the internet you just got to work it out which is fine if he was you know if it was a conventional relationship like a soulmate kind of thing <laughs> but that just seems to make it worse huh like, like things online they'll tell you to visualize the person like you know write them a letter things like that and it's like oh my god like that's the opposite of what you should be doing mm-hmm. i know that now after. it made him run harder yes 